and welcome back to another video. So once again, you're once again, and today I'm going to be doing my reaction to <clears throat> uh, 86, episode 7. So I guess I'm about halfway through season 1 right now. There's 11 episodes in season 1, so I guess technically a little bit over half. Uh, and yeah, I've been enjoying this series a lot. I'm glad that I decided to give it another chance because it is really good. <laughs> uh, I'm sad that I dropped it originally. Alright, but anyways, let's get to it then. I just want to get straight into episode 7. Uh, it's a very interesting series, a lot of complex issues, uh, very likable characters with, you know, yeah, let's get to it. Episode beginning, 3, 2, 1, go. Series has complex characters. It's like, you know, I disagree with their beliefs, especially regarding Lena. But it's hard, as I said before, it's difficult to argue with them because of the life that they've lived. You know, that's really great writing right there. So what are you picking up? Supplies for the Spearhead Squadron in Combat District One, is that right? Tell me, Major, what's important enough to warrant a crate like that? Special ammunition. Why don't you try being honest with me? Oh. Special ammunition, sir. <laughs> she is not a very good liar, is she? A little more. Yeah, a little more to the right. And good. <laughs> good afternoon, Major. Will you be dropping by for the festivities? <laughs> Oh god damn. It's fucking heavy shit. I've been told that this series depicts war very realistically, and so far I'm definitely getting that sense. This this fucking disturbing shit, but uh justifyingly so though. Don't tell me something happened in the battle today. Okay, Lena. Tell me why you thought that dress was a good choice. It's all black. You look like you're in mourning. Perfect, isn't it? <laughs> one person has asked me to dance tonight. Look, I'm not... <laughs> uh, smart. That doesn't mean there's any shame in looking nice. Well, I wish we could be watching them too. I've said this before, but I have to praise... The, uh, pacing. I don't know if pacing is the right word, but like, how the series can seamlessly go back and forth from like, tragedy, to funny, to wholesome, like this scene right here, you know? And again, I, st I still suspect that the series is going to be building up to a romantic relationship between Lena and Undertaker. I keep forgetting his real name. I haven't, re haven't remembered it yet. So I, st I still think the series is going to do that, honestly. It seems like this helped further confirm that for me, honestly. Anju was finally able to cry just a bit ago. Will you... Will you remember us too, Major? <laughs> but obviously, that's the kind of person that she is. Especially if you two get together, she won't have an opportunity to forget you. But again, I, I don't know that for a fact. I haven't spoiled myself to that particular thing. But that's just my theory, though. Honestly, it would be unique if they didn't, but I definitely suspect that they will. Hey, 86. This one, too. Apparently your master wanted to send you a little pat on the head. God damn. 
If humans are sending pigs presents, the world really has gone to shit. How'd you manage to get her to sign off, beg? Extra shit with my ass. We've got a festival to attend. What's that? What's up, Shin? What's in the box? Fireworks? A ton of them, too. From the Major? Hell yeah! Oh, Lennis and all that? I was wondering if I guess we're gonna have fun with maybe. Be okay if we told her. Definitely came out of nowhere, but yeah. Are you worried about her? You know, like what? What happened to her? Told me that I have pretty hair. Was she like assaulted or something in the shower? In the past? To cover it up, but he asked me if I grew it out because it looked good. Okay, this is interesting. Is gone now. So I think it's silly to keep worrying about it. But are you doing okay, Corina? Do you want to tell her? No. I don't think that I have the right to be the one who tells her. Tells her what? What was that? Even I mean, if we die, someone will carry us along. Our you saw Reaper. Was that one of theirs? I what is it that sure they're? That he'll carry me along. What is it that they're but, not telling her? But then, is it okay if I tell her? Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, fuck. So, like, they're in setting them up so that the 86 can be completely killed. You know, at this point, I'm seven episodes in, I shouldn't be surprised about this revelation. I don't know why I didn't see it coming. I'm seven episodes into this fucking series. This should have been obvious to me, honestly. This is the last place we'll ever serve. I don't know, maybe it's because my mindset is too much like Lena's. I don't know. Once the last one of us is dead, the replacements will show up, and the next group will be awaiting their executions. So we're not making you fight to protect us. We're making you fight to kill you? But that's nothing but slaughter! Did you all know? Yes. I'm sorry. For how long? From the very start. Not one person who went to war. Not my sister or my friends or anybody else I knew ever actually came back. And it's not like they were going to let us out of the camps anyway. We all know better than to trust any promise from a white pig. We knew it was a lie from the very beginning. If you knew, then why did you fight? Why not run or, or even try to get revenge on the Republic for all they've done to you? Honestly, revenge might have been the easiest option of all. We just have to sit back and let the Legion on through to do their thing. They'd kill us too, of course. But it would be worth it to take the white pigs down to hell with us. Until I was 12 years old, an Alba woman in District 9 was looking after me. Shin's got a similar story. He was raised by an Alba priest who refused to give up his land and got sent to the camps. And you already heard the story about Theo's captain. Karena knows the absolute worst the Alba have to offer. Hell, we all know how awful the white pigs can be, but... Then there are situations like Hayes. She was abused by other 86. For nothing more than her skin color. Anju, Haruto, and Shin all have white pig imperial blood. They've dealt with the same. There are some real scum among the 86. But even then, there were a whole lot of proud 86 out there. Ones who fought to the very end with their heads held high. Even if most of the Alba are assholes, some of you said there was no reason to send us marching straight to our deaths. And we've already told you that not all 86 are good either. <clears throat> If nothing else, that was one choice we had. We could decide which we wanted to be. Even if scum treats you like scum, if you do the same to them, you're scum too. If the only two paths are to die fighting the Legion, or to die having given up completely, we'll survive to the last moment and go down fighting. 
That's the reason we fight. That's the source of our pride. If we believe in the educational process, well, that's not ideal. But I guess that's fine. Even if you know, at the end, you're going to die? Is there anybody stupid enough to hang themselves because they know they'll die tomorrow? Even if you know you're going to the gallows, you can still choose how you're going to climb up there. And all of us, we've made our choice. All we have to do now is survive. Let's go. Okay. So that was episode seven. That was extremely heavy once again. Oh my god. So Yeah, like this series uh, this series pulls and seems to be pulling no punches with the whole uh, like uh, with whole concept of war and with whole racism concept as well. Um like, again, like, the whole revelation at the end of this episode that, like, they were knew from the very beginning they were never getting out, that they were basically being sent in to die. Um, uh, I, again, I don't know why that was so shocking to me after just considering this episode seven. I should have probably seen this coming. But it still caught me off guard for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, I. Damn. And of course, they didn't tell Lena because they didn't think she'd be able to handle it, basically, because of how like naive and idealistic that she is. But now I'm going to say, obviously, I think she's going to stick with them. And she's still going to keep trying to get their, uh, get them help to save them. I definitely think that's going to happen. I don't think this is going to convince her to stop helping them. Okay. Because that would go completely against her character. Like, at the very least, if she was going to change away from that, I would want more build-up and more actual development than just, you know, learning about this horrible thing and then she just suddenly changes. Um, like, if it was actually like, gradual development, I would accept that, but if, like, she stops helping, trying to help them out immediately after this, I won't be, be able to accept that. Uh, but I highly doubt that she will, okay? That's not who Lena is. Alright, so I definitely think that this, you know, sh this is definitely shocking to her, but I don't think this is going to affect anything in terms of her sticking with them. Alright. But still... You know, fantastic episode once again. Uh, in terms of emotional weight, it might actually be the best episode yet, to be perfectly honest. Um, it, it's kind of tough to pin down, though, what exactly their feelings on Lena are. Like, we've already learned that they think that they, in some ways, they don't like her because they consider her to be too naive and idealistic. But do you think it's possible that some of them might still appreciate... Let me know in the comments if you think it's possible some of them might still appreciate all of the effort she's gone through, uh, or that she's gone to to help them. Because like they're not stupid, sure, and they're they're not completely heartless. Sure, they surely they must like, n you know, recognize that she's going through a lot of trouble um, to help them. Like I'm surprised that she hasn't been threatened with being court-martialed yet. You know, f for wanting, for going this far to help the 86, to be per perfectly honest. I'm surprised that her commander has not, like, threatened to court-martial her yet. <laughs> you know? Like, surely they must realize that there is risk on her end as well. So, I would think that at least some of them would, just, would still appreciate and respect 
uh, her tenacity in this uh, in this way. But let me know what you think about that in the comments. Anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content in the future. Hit the notification bell if you want to whenever I upload a new video. I release new videos all the time. Share around other places that sizz on the internet if you think it deserves it. Such as YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Try to help get it in my channel more attention. And like always, comment on the video down below because I help my channel out. Let me know your thoughts on this video and on this episode and on the series as well. Whole on the source material if, if you're a fan of it. What's your thought on, on the uh, on the uh, ending of the episode? Were you as when you first learned that? Were you as shocked as I was? In spite of the fact that we really shouldn't have been, it should have been blatantly obvious. Um, and yeah. Anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.